being screwed out of PTO because male co-workers demand time off. I live in Colorado. The company is based in Arkansas. I work nationwide. I'm flown in for speciality work. I'm the only woman at my company RN. My male colleagues didn't appreciate how the previous woman at the company got special treatment and several of them made a pact to ensure I do not get my PTO as planned. The mostly involves them en masse having unvalidated family emergencies, with hopes I'm called in on vacation. I know this because I'm dating another colleague, and when they made this agreement, they weren't aware of it and discussed it on a group chat. He has the text messages. He brought them to our supervisor and HR, nothing was done. They are allowing it to happen in fear that one of these family emergencies is legitimate. I'm out of pocket a few grand as of this year because the plan actually worked. I've been told future PTO will distribute it to me as available because it's been such as issue. I'm looking for a new job. Do I have any recourse against my employer? It's obvious sexism. There's talk of putting girls in their place and making sure I understand women aren't special. Thank you. This could qualify as hostile work environment as the workplace seems to be ignoring this behavior. Contact an employment attorney in your state. You can call the Arkansas Bar Association, explain your situation and ask for a referral. Contact an employment attorney. And get a copy of those texts from the guy you were dating. Save multiple copies in multiple places that are not on any work devices or servers. IANAL. You can file with the EEOC for harassment on the basis of sex. Provide the text messages as proof. As far as your pay, the law just changed in 2021 so they can't make you forfeit your earned vacation time in Colorado anymore. You're not out of pocket no matter what. It rolls over or they pay it out. You might have a pretty decent discrimination case, but if you like your job, it might be best to pay a lawyer a few hundred dollars to review the texts and send your company a letter explaining the kind of trouble they could get into if they continue to allow this behavior. Letters like that tend to get people's attention more than employee complaints. As an added bonus, if they don't change, or even retaliate against you, you already have a lawyer ready to take your case. A cheaper alternative would be to file a case with the Colorado Civil Rights Division. ccrd.colorado.gov Pretty sure this is worth contacting an attorney over but for now, start telling them you are out of state, are camping and don't have cell service, etc. This needs to become the company's problem and not your problem. Then they'll deal with it. Op scenario is that they're already at work and trying to leave. Their relief then calls in an emergency. Does your employer have 15 employees? If so, contact the EEOC and file a case for gender-based discrimination. You may also want to contact an employment attorney that specializes in discrimination cases with the EEOC. Link. IANAL, but I have done some work for HR and I will tell you this. File a hostile workplace environment case with your HR letting them know you will be contacting both your local and their local Department of Labor, and follow through. File complaints with the Department of Labor in both states, retain an employment lawyer, and show them all the group chat, texts. Additionally, you are not required to go in when you have PTO, it is not on you to provide coverage, it is on your managers. But this is also any, all requests and approvals for time off you should forward to a private email and kept at least a year for your personal record. This should prevent any retaliation for not going in as you were approved for time off. I rarely get to that point, unfortunately. And they have agreed to fly me from some exotic places back to work. This behavior has cost the company probably close to $10,000 in plane tickets for me. You don't have to fly back from wherever you are. No, is a complete sentence. Does your company also reimburse you for the lost costs in booked lodging, transportation, tours, etc.? The things you wouldn't be typically refunded when cancelled at the last minute? If it's a small company it doesn't make sense to pay for 10k on airline tickets to retrieve an employee from vacation to fill in for someone else. That is an inefficient process. Also, silencing notifications and muting certain contacts, numbers during your PTO would be establishing firm boundaries. It's an employer. They don't own your every waking moment. For you to have agreed previously to return from vacation sets a precedent of permission for them to continue to beckon you at their whim. Set and adhere to firm boundaries. They do not own you. Please, 
Understand that if you are on vacation and they demand you to return, or else there could be danger to the community, that liability does not fall on you if you are already on vacation. That is the responsibility of your employer not you as the individual.